<laughs> I love his little face glowing when he goes invisible. Look at that. That is epic. Oh. Guys, welcome back to an episode of Warp Jester Does Minecraft SMP. I uh, have been following the bandwagon a little bit and getting uh, videos done, but I'm back and I'm trying and I'm getting things done here. Uh, got a few episodes backing up that I'm starting to put up here. Um, I hope you got a chance to catch my uh, first episode of the EverQuest uh, Landmark uh, Alpha. Um, I'm definitely doing more of those, as I've said, and looking forward to it. Um, just got to figure out what I'm going to do in it, because uh, yeah, it's not exactly a fleshed out game yet, so it's a lot of testing, which I'm trying to do. I'm trying to find things to do with it to break it or find flaws and things like that. So I believe in the whole alpha philosophy and beta philosophy of actually trying to find issues, not just play the game. <laughs> but I also want to be able to show you guys what's going on with that. But anyways, we're not here to talk about EverQuest, we're here to talk about Minecraft! Yay, the blocky world of Minecraft, which we love so much. Um, so today, actually, uh, was able to ca jump on and uh, catch Ruark, and finally got around to uh, uh, getting a chance to help him with his uh, Division Sigil, and get himself a Builder's Wand, which are some really cool... Uh, uh, cool items from the uh, Extra Utilities mod. Uh, so we need to play with those a little bit. And there's a, there's a little mayhem from that as well as some additional mayhem that uh, came along with it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you that. Hey, Rue. How's it going? How's it going, Rue? Pretty good, worked. Like my hat? Yeah, I'm going to have words with that for a while. I'm just, I have this innate urge to, like, cut your head off. <laughs> if you guys haven't watched... Well, mine uh, is colorful, so... Well, yeah, there is that. If you guys haven't watched uh, the latest episode from uh, uh, the talks, I'm sure Rue will probably have his up, but uh, Rue got himself a new hat, and uh, uh, I think there's copyright on that. recording at the time. I may, I may have to... Uh, no, there's not. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's copyright on that. Hey! Hey! All right. Uh, so, uh, hey, Rue. How would you like a builder's wand? Uh, that depends. What does it do? Lots of awesome stuff. Okay, maybe. Well, one, one, one particular awesome thing. Okay, let me go ahead and grab mine here. And do ba do. So uh, builders, builders wands give you a nice, uh, nice capacity to do things like that, like that. And that. Whoa. And that. Need to build things fast? Damn. Builder's one's nice to have. Nice for solid things. Holy crap. It works quite well for building. A lot of stuff I've built, craft. it works well, especially when you're building walls, because you can do... Basically, it does a nine-block uh, nine block stint, so it can do a three-by-three three or a one-by-nine... Um, Really nice to have. So, in order to do that, we're actually going to cut time. Oop, we're going to miss our day here. But, we'll get things set up here. So, first things first, we need a, a uh, enchanting bench that's open to the sky and on grass, which just happens to be one sitting here. How convenient is that? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Next, what we need to do is we need to surround said crafting bench, or sorry, enchanting table, with redstone. And last but not least, we need a sacrifice. Oh, crap. <laughs> Do you have I'm a gravity warped. gun? You volunteer. Oh, no. No, I don't. <laughs> well, let's look and go grab ourselves a volunteer here. As luck would have it, I happen to have a... Had a gravity gun. Uh oh. Where did my gravity gun go? <laughs> this is what happens if I think we may have missed it. Yep. Uh, this is what happens when you have uh, too much uh, inventory space. Oh, rockets. <laughs> uh, well, I tell you what. 
let us go ahead and get ourselves a sacrifice, and then we'll go ahead and uh, enjoy the evening for what it is, and uh, we'll set up for tomorrow evening. All right, sounds good. What is that thing over there? What, where? <laughs> oh, cool! <laughs> Dirt creeper! <laughs> oh, I, I've never seen those blow up before. Yep. I love this thing. Something they suffocate you. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and get this uh, set up here, peeps, and uh, we'll be right back. Hey, guys, welcome back. We're coming up on the witching hour here. Just waiting for uh, that magical, uh, magical midnight. You'll know you're uh, ready when the uh, sigil in your uh, bar is glowing. And once that happens, all you got to do is just uh, end one of those poor little sheep's lives. That's it? Yeah. Oh. Well, we were expecting something cataclysmic. It has begun. It has begun. Okay. All right, Rue. Maybe I should have taken a drink first. Woo! <laughs> That's whoa! First Earth, <laughs> and, and it's supercharged. I got a supercharged gravity gun now. Oh! Oh my God! Oh! Oh! Okay! 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, to be honest, I expected more. Well, you can go ahead and clean up that mess there, and, uh, ooh, hello. What, what, are, what, oh, what, what does a death creeper do? Uh, death? There's a jumping zombie. Yes, <laughs> there's a lot of things right now. Welcome to Cursed Earth, my friend. Do you happen to have a silk, a silk touch uh, shovel by chance? I got a drill. Doesn't work. It's got to be Silk Touch. Oh, wait. You have a Jules has Silk Touch, don't you? Yeah, it's got Silk Touch. Perfect. I would definitely recommend you grab some of that. Now, just so you know, the uh, Cursed Earth here has a very high spawn rate for mobs, as you can easily tell. And uh, it does not like light. Any kind of light, including torches. Um, hello, Enderman. It's not mad at me. Ooh. Hi. Um, any kind of light, including torches, as well as uh, sunlight will burn it and kill it. Okay. Ooh. So if you want uh, some cursed earth for a spawning bed or just general fun and mayhem, woo, uh, definitely recommend it. Uh, <laughs> this guy has a half-eaten apple core as a body. Half-eaten apple? What? Oh, nice. This stuff breaks slow. <laughs> Come on, Rue, get some, uh, get some cursed earth, man. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh, oh, that's a mutant creeper. Oh, yeah. Oh, we are so killing it. Uh, no, 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 no. Away, 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 away from the city. Away from the city. Away from the city. This way. You do not want that over in the city. Oh, I know. Mother I am well aware. Um... <laughs> Rue's gonna get himself now a creeper. Now I understand the mutant creatures mod. <laughs> yeah, let's get him out here, away from the city, and possible damage. He 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 does a a rather mildly large explosion. So definitely come out here, like away, especially from that nice, beautiful thing that somebody just built. <laughs> oh, wow! It's, I'm getting all kinds of shot around here. Okay, you need to go away. Get him, Rue! Oh, get him down. Uh oh. <laughs> Ooh, what was that? That was him exploding to try to get you. <laughs> So these guys have a nasty habit of uh, exploding, and then when they start to die, they will pull you and everything else around you in and cause a massive craterous 
blast. Kind of like that? Yep, and what's left behind is a little creeper egg. And that is your prize, sir. <laughs> did I... Where? What? Where? What did I... Did I grab it? Uh, you tell me. It was there. What is it? Creeper egg? Did you get it? Um... I got snowballs, slime balls, arrows, bones, flesh, gunpowder, no egg. Oh man, it was right there. You didn't hit it, did you? I believe I did. Ooh. Was I not supposed to? Uh. Well, if it ain't in your inventory, it's kind of sex. That's what. Uh, you know that little keeper that they got? Oh. Uh <laughs> I want a keeper and a beeper. Yeah, as you can see here, this is exactly why I said uh, get him away from the city, because <laughs> they make quite a mess. <laughs> Could you keep these guys busy for me? Oh, are you kidding? This, this, you, you, you've earned uh, you've earned this, man. It's all you. XP and all. <laughs> and grab yourself some cursed earth, get that cleaned up, and... Uh, Ooh, hello. I'm working on it. <laughs> Once you get all that mess cleaned up, we'll go ahead and uh, work on making you a, uh, a builder's wand. Oh, crap. There's an ender creep, and he's after me now. Oh, hello. Yeah, hey, uh, your uh, friends here. I'm gonna call the cops on this party of yours. Uh, what friends? Hey, man, you invited him. You told me to. Man, oh man, but you got, uh, you can get some earth there or what? <laughs> now this stuff will spread like, uh, regular grass. And as you can see from back here, it spreads on everything. Oh, okay. I got, I got you. So I think I'm good. All, right, all I gotta do now is just, uh, kill off the stuff and we're good. Um... You can set down torches, or you can just sleep off the night and let the sun take care of the business if you like. I want to get a little bit more, please. Or try to, anyways. Have fun, my friend. <laughs> I'm trying! <laughs> oh, there's some more spawning. Oh, got a spider jockey. Oh, watch out for the creeper. <laughs> Run, Roo, run! Woo! Oh, cool. Oh, cool. <laughs> this is a good way to deal with okay, it. Okay, I think I'm good. Alright. Let's I go. I got seven cursed earth. I got a supercharged gravity gun. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a nice little bonus, wasn't now, it? What's the benefit of that? What, what was it? The gravity gun, I believe, uh, shoots further. I remember correctly. I want to try this. Alright, well, I'm going to bed down here and uh, come daytime, we'll go ahead and get set up and build you a, a builder's wand. Alright? Okay, I think I'm good. Alright, so let's go ahead and pop down here and uh, go ahead and make yourself a builder's wand. So first things first, the way to make a builder's wand, as long as they have many other things, is to make an unstable ingot. Now, an unstable ingot is done by putting iron divided by diamond. So iron on top, your division sigil in the middle, and a diamond on the bottom. And you'll see the output. I know see. where this is going, and if I screw up, bad things will happen. <laughs> and that will give you your... <laughs> I know what could happen. I'm a little worried. Um, okay, relay all the instructions, because I think there's a time limit on this. About, yes. 
So you want to go ahead and divide the uh, iron by diamond, which will give you an unstable ingot. And then the recipe for the wand is going to be one unstable ingot and one stick. Uh, ingot on top? Yes. Okay, let's just read this. Ten seconds. Okay. Here we go! <laughs> I think I did it. Okay. Oh, you're still here. That's a good thing. Congratulations. So there's your uh, wand. Now you can also make a uh, unstable shovel, an uh, unstable axe, a uh, sword, and a hoe. So any of those you can also make with this material. And the one caveat to these guys is they have some weird quirks to them, as well as they don't take any damage. So, for example, if you have a uh, a block of any sort that uh, you know does hackery, for example. Um, if you put a unstable sword into it, you'll never have to worry about replacing that item. It doesn't take durability damage. So those are kind of nice to have. Uh, there are also some unique properties to them. I can't remember all of them. I think the shovel digs fast, maybe. Sword does decent damage. Uh, the hoe of ungrowth makes things go backwards. So you can ungrow your wheat... Um, you can turn grass into dirt. I have absolutely no idea why you'd ever want one of those. <laughs> the grass into dirt would make sense back in beta when passive mobs spawned on grass. Yeah, no, that'd, that'd be kind of handy, but uh, nonetheless. So there you go, my friend. A uh, little bit of uh, mayhem here. This is going to take a while to... <laughs> Tend to be rectified, I think, but uh, that right there is uh, a nice little tool to have, especially when you're building walls. That thing does very, very well for building. So, well, my work here is done. <laughs> okay, how do I use this thing? Uh, basically, all it is is you have to have whatever you want to use in your inventory. So, if, like, for example, if you're spreading dirt, you want to make sure you have dirt in your inventory. And then you just, all you got to do is click on uh, the side or the face of the material you want to grow. So, like, for example, if you want this to go Stop. up. Hey, grass is growing fast here. If you want to make uh, stuff go up, for example, and you have dirt in your inventory, you can just click on the dirt, and whatever face you click on, it will go up from there. How do I change the shape? The shape is actually just whatever is available. So, here, I'll give you an example here. Here's a... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you can do a nine out or nine up from this. And if you happen to click on something that is of this shape, it will go up in this full this full uh, square. Oh, I see. You will see an outline, a wire outline, like this here for the people at home. And there's one of the little caveats. If you hold, uh, I think it's shift it'll only go in a line, even if it's higher. So it kind of forces it. Now bear in mind, in your case, since you have grass, <laughs> it is very specific of the block item. So if you have grass, you'll put grass on top. If you have dirt, you'll put dirt on top, etc. But you have to have the inventory. Now this is really helpful if you're doing a lot of like backfill, or again, if you're building walls, for example, because you can actually build a nice wall that is literally just put up a stock and then from there, you can just all the way down with it very simply, very quickly and very simply. This works really well in tandem with the forestry bags. If you set the forestry bags, you just shift click, and it'll actually turn the bags to a down arrow, which is output. These bags by default will keep all of your materials, uh, whatever you have out, like this dirt right here, constantly restocked. You'll see if I use my dirt, you'll see it gets restocked constantly. So you load your mm -hmm. bags up and. Off you go. Now about that hat. <laughs> I'm not hear... getting rid of it, boy. You'll be, you'll be hearing from my lawyer about your copyright infringement. That's it's, a trademark. There is no... No, it's not. Trademark. You made the mod, right? Doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, it does. <laughs> all, all right to the contents of the mod, go to the mod creator. I claim Minecraft Terms of Service. You can find them at minecraft.net slash terms. I claim that hat. No, you don't. <laughs>
<laughs> Air justing. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. What are you going to do with the gravity gun? I can fly. <laughs> All right, guys. You gotta do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rimble. Thanks a lot, man. I wanted to get a chance to do this with you for a while, and uh, we'll definitely hook up and do a little more work. Maybe do some little work on the track while we're at it. Who knows? All right. <laughs> All right, buddy. It has been real. Thank you, as always. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Uh, subscribe. All that good stuff. We always do appreciate it. Uh, if, you, again, if you haven't checked out Rurok, definitely check him out. He's got a lot of other... Uh, videos and uh, games he does play, even ones that aren't blocky. Uh, so definitely check those out. Oh, stop and complaining. <laughs> <laughs> definitely check him out. He's a good guy. He's fun to watch. And uh, supposedly in his uh, Saints Row, he's a little bit less than PC. So uh, if you like that, uh, have fun with it. All right, Rue. All right, everybody. I'm out. Take it easy.